a war against Israel with the worst massacre of innocent civilians in Israel's history. Hamas was more barbaric and more brutal than ISIS. Let me be crystal clear. Israel will respond with determination and force to their unprovoked war crimes. Hamas murdered hundreds of Israelis, men, women, and children, and took dozens hostage into Gaza. This horrific terror act demands a forceful, determined, and sustained response, which is exactly what we are doing and continue to do. Our Air Force is attacking hundreds of Hamas Islamic Jihad targets in Gaza. We, we, we follow international law while exercising our right and responsibility to protect our civilians. The days ahead will be long and difficult. We have paid a heavy price, but we will restore security to the people of Israel. Let me repeat, we will store security to the people of Israel. Israeli intelligence indicates that Hamas are hiding among Gazan civilians inside Gazan homes and schools, hospitals and mosques. Hamas behaves like ISIS. I repeat, Hamas behaves like ISIS. It's the same strategy to maximize civilian casualties in Gaza and Israel and make you all forget the massacre of hundreds of Israelis that started this war in the first place. We will not forget. Hamas terrorists target Israeli civilians. Israel will target Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorists wherever they will be in Gaza. We will do whatever it takes to, to protect our people and restore security to Israel. We are also looking to the north as well with full readiness and we are fully coordinated with CENCOM. General Alevi had just finished a conversation with General Kurila and we'll, keep con and we'll keep talking in the next hours again. Whom who attacks us in all over the Middle East will face a decisive attack back. All right, hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and don't forget to give us a dislike if you don't like our videos and which is appreciated if you don't like it and give us like which is not appreciated. Now we saw and we heard, you know, and all of you, you know what the news, I do not need to tell you. Uh, but I find it very funny that the Israeli need to explain what they need to do. You know that uh, I will let you, I will let, I will, I will let Hamas explain to you what they should do. اللهم عليك بيهود شل أركانهم ودمر كيانهم اللهم مكننا من رقاب يهود اللهم مكننا من رقاب يهود فلقد اقترب يوم فلقد اقترب يوم ذبحكم وصالكم والقضاء عليكم حتى لا يبقى يهودي ولا صهيوني على وجه هذه الأرض عقيدتنا في قتالكم أننا سنبيدكم على بكرة أبيكم ولن نبقي منكم أحدا سلوهم حيث ثقفتم وما فيش ما رفش حد وين ما بنستطيع سنقاوزهم التي يتبر فيها ملكهم ويباد فيها أبناؤهم اللهم عليك باليهود ومن والاهم اللهم عليك بالأمريكان ومن والاهم اللهم أحصهم عددا واقتلهم بددا ولا تغادر منهم أحدا Do we need to explain to you? Allahumma alayka bi-yahud 
شل أركانهم ودمر كيانهم اللهم مكننا من رقاب يهود اللهم مكننا من رقاب يهود فلقد اقترب يوم فلقد اقترب يوم ذبحكم وصالكم والقضاء عليكم The day we will slaughter you all Jewish is coming soon. This is what he is saying. If you speak Arabic, you do not need translation, which is my case. But in case you do not know, well, the translation is there. In case you don't trust the translation, go ask anyone who speaks Arabic. So why in the world the Jews need to explain what they want to do? Why until now those people are living in the political correctness world? Your women being slaughtered, being raped, even after death they raped them. Your babies, they cut their heads. They ride their houses. Those Hamas, if they are brave, they will attack an army, an army fighting an army. A man fighting a man. They are a bunch of cowards, sons of Muta. And the stupid you, the IDF, need to explain to the world what you will do, why? Why you need to explain? You need to explain? The European Union asked Israel to abide by the international law. Which law, you stupid donkeys? They are fighting filthy dogs. And you are talking about by law? In a previous video I made, I saw some Christian praying to the Palestinians, safety, civilian safety. Those are civilians? Didn't you see them dancing when they bring the women she is dead in the truck? Didn't you see the women, they are making the, like the, the, the barbaric uh, happiness sound? You did not hear it? What is the civilians? Didn't you see kids carrying guns? We have a sickness in the society, it's called political correctness. And the Christians, you know, they want to give hug to everybody, we love everybody. No, we don't love everybody. We don't. Do you love rapist? Do you? Jesus loved everybody. No, he don't love everybody. This is why hell and heaven is created. The wicked man is not to be loved. The Lord himself in the Bible says, peace to the righteous, peace to the people who love peace, and no peace for the wicked man. Those are wicked, evil. Nothing can describe them. And you know, the whole world is talking about what? Talking about Hamas, right? But the real, real, real biggest snake is the Prince of Qatar. Anyone ask himself, where is the money coming from? Qatar. Who bought the weapon? Qatar. Who delivered them? Turkey. Who trained them? Iran. Everybody is talking about Iran. They forgot the biggest snake, Qatar. This is the headquarter. If you go to Al Jazeera right now, you will see they are talking about the murder of Hamas. The murder. They are counting how many murder they died. <laughs> you remember the stupid donkey Biden when he said, oh, let me find his video, this, this idiot. He was quoting the filthy Muhammad saying, well, the prophet Muhammad, he said, if a believer, he says something he don't like, he should change it by his hand. So he encouraged them to do terrorism. But what do you mean change it by your hand? Do you know even what does that mean? Those who come back, all what they care is to win election. There is a few Muslims. They are not even 1% in the population of America. Not even 1%. And then if we check who is a Muslim between them, we will find that the 1% is not even half percent. More than 60% of the 1% are nation of Islam, which has nothing to do with Islam anyway. And then there is Shia, and there is Durzi, and there is whatever. You know, 
how many sect and each one of them believe the other one is not a Muslim but the stupid Biden he decided to tell the, the Muslims he is quoting their prophet the prophet said if you see something not good not right changed by your hand if you could not then by your tongue if you could not then by your heart well here we go they are using their hands for them the Jews are not good for them the American are not good for them the Hindus the Christian the atheist everybody not good this is what happened when you have donkeys and politically correct people in the office same time we need to ask ourselves how in the world even this happened simply because the Israeli they are relaxing do you know the story of the turtle and the rabbit hmm? do you know it the turtle and the rabbit the turtle is so slow the rabbit is so fast the rabbit he sent to himself ah, I will take a nap it's going to take forever for the turtle to be there but when he woke up the turtle was already home so that's really you know this is what happened when you you know to yourself when you become like uh, so proud uh, so strong supposedly and that supposedly will make you feel like you know you are uh, who is going to even to get a close? Who there? So they went to take a nap. This is how stupid the leadership of Israel today. Are they going to learn? We will see. Uh, and then we have, you know, the hippies. The hippies, they went to the festival a few meters away from the wall of Hamas. 500 meters away. Those hippie girls, they want to dance almost naked because they love peace, you know. The, this is festival of peace. And what they do in the festival of peace, they shake their ass naked the whole night. Like, you know, eh, eh, they, peace, this is peace. Like, it look like peace doesn't happen without getting naked and being uh, dancing. I mean, this is festival of peace. And we are in front of Hamas. So everything is perfect to slaughter. No army, no soldiers, everybody home, everybody in his pajama. And the hippies are next to us. Let us get them. Those are the same people, by the way. You see them in New York, in Europe, holding those, you know, white people holding the so-called Palestinian flag the same hippie are the one who get killed peace you know love peace you know give me a hug give me a hug. Hamas give me a hug you know we are like, let us have sex together so this is what happened when you have a nation brainwashed stupid liberals and they think that their enemy, they hate them because of a, like a piece of land. Oh, you know, we can share the land together. This is not the reason, you stupid donkey. This is the reason. Those people, they have an, an, an apologetic obligation to kill you all. This is their religion. This is not about a land. This is not about a land, even though this is your land. And the stupid you, you gave them Gaza. Are you done? No. You give them the East Bank. Did you get, you know, the West Bank? No. So what, what, what you will give them then? Nothing will be enough. They will not rest until they kill you all. Even if you leave the land, they will chase you to America. You see when those people in this video here, they are talking about slaughtering the Jews. This is this has been said long before Israel as a state today is built. This is from the time of Muhammad. So those people, they are not talking about Israel today only. They are, to, they are not talking even about Israel. They are talking about the Jews. The Jews, the Jews, the Jews, the Jews.
They are not speaking about Israel. The Jews, they say Saturday first and Sunday next. What does that mean? You know, when I heard it first time when I was a kid, I did not get it. What did that mean? Saturday first and Sunday, you know, the teacher, he said it. I mean, it's normal, isn't it? Friday come first, Saturday come before it. So why he said Saturday first and Sunday come next? Then when I start learning, I, I, I learned that this faith is come back was saying, we killed the Jews first Saturday and we finished the Christian after. This is what Saturday first and Sunday next mean. And this is why if you are a Christian, you think this is have nothing to do with you. That's because you are a fool. They will finish with the Jews, they will start with you. As simple as that. For this is the religion of the devil. The devil himself is their God. His name is Muhammad. Other name for him, Allah. Look at them. The Israeli army and the president and government, please, uh, international community, let us explain to you, those people, they killed our babies, they cut their head. The, the other side says, we are coming after you, we will kill every single one of you. The Israeli answer, Habibi, Habibi, we need to fight for defend ourselves, Habibi. You know, those, uh, they come, they kill our, they rape our women. Let us explain to you, Habibi. Invite the journalists. Any journalists have a question? The other side, we are going to annihilate every single one of you. <laughs> what? You explain what? Talking about what? Madness, stupidity, donkeys. Aren't we? Aren't we done with with the, with, the, with political correctness? Didn't we have enough of, of the hippies? I made the previous video. I could not go live really because I was in a place where I have no you know equipment to go live. That's the whole idea. I was hunting Hamas maybe <laughs> in the mountains maybe. So I was, you know, I made uh, some videos in my phone, using my phone, and if you remember, I said, "What can uh, I, I, the, the title of the video is funny plan of uh, the IDF or Israel Army to fight Hamas? What they do? They give a warning to the location. They say leave, and then they hit the building. Are you stupid or what? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid army like this?" Is this war against buildings or against Hamas? This war is exactly against who? So you give a warning to people to leave the building and then you hit the building. Oh, we killed 10 buildings today. Brother, let us talk to Jack Shalom. Jack Shalom, what is the report for you today from uh, Israel, brother? Uh, a Christian is Habibi. Today we kill ten building and we slaughter ten bedroom and we destroy five kitchen. Jack Shalom, but what about Hamas? A uh, Habibi, we before we shoot the missile, we give them a phone call says leave the building. Have you ever heard of a stupid war like this? Are you launching war against buildings or against Hamas? They give text message in a distance of two kilometers away from that building. Says, hey, but potato, listen, we are going to hit the following address. Hmm? We will give you 30 minutes from now. Take your uh, stuff, take your phone. Don't forget Hamas. Take your Kalashnikov with you. And this is why we heard Hamas saying, now lately, we are going to execute any, from now on, any attack without warning. Look like they listen to me. Actually, there's one of you. He told me that he sent my link, my video, <laughs> making fun of the IDF. He sent it to somebody like he is, like let us say, he's a he's a big shot in the army in Israel. He told him, look, this guy, even this guy is an Arab, is making fun of the stupidity you are doing. So you give a message to Hamas to leave, and then you kill the building, and then now they stop sending warning. This is why Hamas look like they are listening to me. So now Hamas they made a threat. Each time you destroy a house in Gaza, house, let's remember, house, it's a house. In Gaza, we are going to execute 
one of your hostages. So Hamas now is in trouble. Now, now we are talking. They want them to go back to the old rules. Give us a warning. You need to give the criminal a warning. So what we would do, what we are we wasting just money and weapon and, and bombs? And then the whole world says, look what the Israel is doing. They are destroying Gaza. They destroy nothing. Those are empty buildings. And who is the one counting the numbers there? They say to you, 900, how you know? How many times we saw fake videos of bodies? How many times Hamas and the Palestinians? So, by the way, those are not Palestinians. One of the biggest false lie, everybody is speaking about Palestinians. Those are, if you ask any one of them, he will say, ask him, what are you from? He says, I am an Arab. How in the world an Arab become a Palestinian? Have you ever heard of an Arab Palestinian? How that can work? Those are people, they came with the occupation of Omar al-Khattab. Before that date, not, not a single person speak Arabic in this land. So they themselves, their occupation. Even the Donkey Muhammad book says that this is the book of the Jews. If you go to chapter 5, verse number 21, you will see the Donkey Muhammad, Muhammad making poo-poo. He never mentioned Hamas, he never mentioned the word Palestine, never. Looked like Muhammad, he never heard of it, because never was exist. Oh my people, Muhammad said, oh let me get Zakir Naik to read it for you. Good and Prince. First of all, those are the Jews who they are following Musa. Abdul, Zakir Naik. Yeah, those are the Jews who follow Musa. Doesn't matter. Those are the Jews and those are their children. Good and Prince. First of all, those are not the Jews who follow Musa. Abdul. Isn't it your prophet? He spoke to them in his time, saying, You are the Jews who follow Musa. And it's super Quran says, O oh, children of Israel, 600 years after Muhammad. Good and Prince. First of all, those are not the Jews, and I will prove it to you. Okay, what is the proof you have? First of all, most of the dudes, according to scientific study, they like macaroni. Oh, what did that have, what, what that have to do with the being Jews or not? This is the proof to us that the most of them, they are Italian. Uh, the Jews, they are Italian because they like macaroni? Exactly. Hey, Abdul, are you a Muslim? Yes, Christian Beth. What is the proof? I drink camel urine. That is the truth. So, we have a stupid religion, and you will find someone like Zakir Naik who live in the end of the world. Oh, there's other guy, other donkey, right the head from America. His name is Sajid. Sajid what? Sajid uh, Lagam? So what? Sajid what? He made... <laughs> he made a video. Says, Palestine is part of us. I mean, they say to the to the Jews, look, those Jews are there's a blonde, there's you know blue eyes. How can how what happened? Hmm? A guy who just converted to Islam a few years ago suddenly Palestine is part of us. And I left a comment for him. I don't know if he dare to answer. Every Abdul, Abdul who live in Pakistan, he says he claimed that Palestine is part of us. Abdul, are you sure? Yes, brother. What? The? What this guy have to do with the Palestine? Look at this donkey. Palestine is part of us. So the Jew, who, uh, we asked the Abdul, who is the one who built the, tem who, who built the temple according to Islam, according to the prophet, David and Solomon? Okay, so how Palestine is part of us? <laughs> I remember once that the history teacher, he was talking about how the Israeli, the Zionists, they took the land, they took our land. Uh, and they said, inshallah, we will get the Aqsa back. He said, okay, is, sir, is it, this is the temple of uh, Suleiman. He said, yes, yes. I said, who built it? He says, well, obviously, it's Suleiman. I said, isn't Suleiman is a Jew? <laughs> this teacher, he hated me to death. He said, you, you, you are troublemaker. You know, next time, don't, don't give an answer unless I ask you the question. I ask you the question, you give me the answer. You don't ask me a question, you give the answer. I am the teacher. So, okay, okay, but Suleiman is the one who built the temple, right? <laughs> so those are stupid Abdul. 
In their stupid books, it says that the one who built the temple is Suleiman and David. And then they claim that this is their Al-Aqsa. What Aqsa? I mean, Abdul, when you're a prophet, he went in his dream. The Muslims, they claim that this is a truly physical trip. <laughs> in a top of a flying donkey. <laughs> I hope he was not riding Biden at that time. Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> Even the stupid Quran speak about the temple which is built by Suleiman. If you remember, Muhammad is, you know, Muhammad is a, have a very strong imagination. And he liked the stories the Jews they tell to their kids. So suddenly Suleiman have a flying carpet. I mean, now we need flying carpet of Suleiman. So we can put all those Muslims in Jerusalem. You know, and look, when the attack happened, do you know what happened in Jerusalem? All the sheikhs in the mosque, they went to the microphones of their of their mosque, the mosque of the devil, and they start shouting, Allahu Akbar, attack the Jews, kill the Jews. Do you know that? Do you know? Somebody saying, got a grip? I don't know, what does that mean? Do you have a grip? So Palestine is part of us. I left a comment for him, and I said, part of you, you idiot. Isn't it your Quran says that this is the, all the land of the Jews? Isn't it Allah, he said to the Jews, go and kill everyone, live there? And then when the Jews refuse, Allah, he cursed them. Read it. Oh, Musa's. He told Musa to tell his people, oh my people, enter the holy land. And look, look, look at the translation, subhanallah, subhanallah. They put the word Palestine. Like, what the heck? It's not in the Quran. The Muslim to make you understand what is the holy land is, they say Palestine. Allah forget the word Palestine. Uh, the, the Muslim, they add it in the translation. Hmm. Do you believe this are the end of times? My friend, forget about the end of time first and get ready for war. I mean, I, I really, I find that some Christians are funny. Anything happening in the world, do you think this is the end of time? What's wrong with you people? You like conspiracy, don't you? You like exciting news. Do you like me to announce myself to be a prophet like Muhammad? Okay, let me prophesy for you. Next month, a lot of women, they will have their period. Are you going to say to me now that this is the end of time? So anything happening in the world, this is the end of the time? Focus, focus. Leave the end of time for the Lord. None of your business and none of my business. And don't listen to those people who keep telling you about the end of time. Obviously, they have no time to tell you something useful. The end of the time is something the Lord will, desi will decide it and none of your business and my business. And according to the Bible, nobody will know when the end of the time will happen. So how you think me, I will tell you when the end of the time. Let me make a phone call to Isaac and Nick. Hey, hello? Good and friends. What of all, Prophet Muhammad he did when the end of the time. What you say, Zakarnaik, how your Prophet Muhammad, he can tell us the end of the time. According to your Prophet, all the prophecies, they turn to be wrong. In his, isn't it your Prophet, he says, you will, uh, <coughs> uh, you Muslims, you will be the minority, and the Roman, they will be the majority. How many millions we have in Italy right now? Good and friends. When the prophet is the Roman, he means the Christian. The Roman is the Christians. So a person who is in India is a Christian, he's a Roman. Exactly. So a person who is in Brazil, he is a Roman. Exactly. Hmm. What about a Christian? He is in Japan. Exactly. What is the what, are you stuck with the exactly thing? Exactly. Don't be the same as the dummy Muhammad. And there is many false priests. They keep talking about the end of the time, and they claim that they, you know, let me tell you the end of the time. Oh, look, 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 look! The bird, look what the bird is eating. What is eating? Is eating seed. 
This is a sign of end of his time. Don't let people fool you and they speak of things that they don't they have no idea what it is. They are just making fun of you. What we care for that this is the end of Hamas. This is what we want for now. The end of the time is the business of God. Do we agree? What we care for now is the end of the filthy Hamas. We are not worried about the end of the time. <clears throat> when the end of the time happen, let it happen. Those who they are believers, they are saved, they are survivors. Those who don't, they deserve what is coming to them. So if you are a believer, why you are worried? And why you are even, you know, thinking about it? Let it happen. Anytime. So as you see the Quran, say clearly and never you know muhammad never mentioned the word palestine or palestinian never but he mentioned hundred of time the children of israel if i type here you know in the quran aka the yellow pages of muhammad the most funny stupid book ever if i type the word israel and I type the word Palestine, what I will find? I will find zero Palestine. <laughs> and all of those are Israel. <laughs> and yet they say to you, there's no Israel. <laughs> Abdul, Europe, what, what's wrong with your prophet? There's no Israel. So, so what is this? What? Your prophet can't, uh, can't say two words without saying Israel, 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 Israel. Yeah, okay, who's Israel? There's no Israel. There's no Israel, brother. <laughs> All of this is Israel. <laughs> there is no Israel. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... Abdul saying to me, free Palestine. My friend, it's for free, as you see. Allah, he gave it to the Jews for free. You like it or not, what you can do about it. Abdul saying to me, free Palestine. If you are a man, if you are not son of Muta, go and do jihad. All of you Muslims in YouTube, you are a bunch of scumbag. You claim to do jihad. Free Palestine, free Palestine. By what? By farting, do jihad. Where's your guns? Are you eating too much garlic? Free Palestine, free Palestine, CC. CC. Like this guy here, you know, Palestine is part of us. Why you don't do jihad? If you are a really believer in Allah, and Allah will give you a lot of versions, well, go get them before we get you. Huh? Those CC girls in YouTube, the YouTuber Muslims, Palestine is part of us. Shake your boobs. If you are a man, go join Hamas. You don't even dare to say one serious word. So you go on YouTube. Brothers and sisters, Allah he gave the land to the Muslims, brothers and sisters. May Allah have mercy on the people of uh, Palestine. You don't, even, you don't even dare to say Hamas. You don't even dare. This is how diarrhea is infecting your religion. Do Mimi Hijab dare to say we support Hamas? We will do jihad? He don't. When uh, supposedly the Chinese, they were killing the Muslims. By the way, what happened to the Chinese now? They aren't killing Muslims no more? Suddenly, <laughs> Joe Biden forget about the Muslims. <laughs> you know, in a certain time, for almost a year, every scum back in the in the European Union and in America and everywhere, you know, I'm talking about presidents and government, uh, uh, human rights in China, they are killing the Muslims, they are putting them in camp. Suddenly, nobody is talking about it no more. So all of it, it was just to stop China from growing, from being 
a, a, a mighty country. That's all. The Muslims themselves, they are kissing the ass of China. They invited the president of China to Saudi Arabia and they brought like the same they did to Trump. They start licking the ass of the Chinese president. Nobody mentioned anything about Muslims being killed. All of them, they're all Muslims. So the Muslims, they invite the president of China, kissing his ass, and Joe Biden talking about the human right of the Muslims in China. The Muslims themselves don't care for the Muslims if this is true. And now suddenly nobody is talking about China killing Muslims. Yesterday, Joe Biden, he was quoting Muhammad saying, if somebody wanna, the prophet says, if you say something wrong, you can search it. Joe Biden, you know the thing, quoting prophet Muhammad, the child molester. And here we know we want to ask the Muslims when Hamas they rape women and they cut the head of babies. And you Muslim you say that it's against Islam. Who wanna call me and prove it to me? This is against Islam. And now if the Jews, you see the Jews they occupy Lebanon. They never rape a single woman. Not a single woman. They enter the land, which is their land, Israel. They never rave a single woman. Muslims give them the land for five minutes, just five minutes. They get inside the town, five minutes. Raving children, even dead women, even the dead women, if you remember the picture I showed you, this woman, she was dead. They take her and they rape her in the truck. She's good looking, brother. They took her dead body. Why, why are you taking dead body with you? There's hundreds of dead bodies in the floor. They did not pick up anyone except the one she looked good. This is the truth. And those are the believing Muslims. Those are not the bad Muslims, by the way. Those are the one who really, really believers. The fighter of Hamas are not an average Muslim. Those are truly believers. You should know that. Hamas, you know, like we, we see, like here, see there is those, those, those uh, uh, TV stations, you have to confirm your age in order to watch the video. I mean, do you see uh, YouTube uh, rules, brothers, sisters? Uh, Muslim, they post beheading. You do not need to confirm your age. But if Israeli TV posts a video, <laughs> you have to confirm your age. <laughs> this, is, this is a video made by a woman. She lives in America, I guess. And she, she called the video how the upper thigh, uh, I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly, uh, destroyed my hometown. So they are claiming that the Jews are racist and they are doing the same exactly what was done in South Africa. In fact, it is them who do that. It is them who don't want the Jews to live between them. It is Muhammad who did that. Let me show that show. Just to show you how they lie and they fabricate. The Jews, they build a wall for their safety and security. Otherwise, they should kill, if they are criminals, should kill everybody and should kick everybody. There's more than a million Arab live inside Israel and they are Israeli citizen. Did they build a wall between them? No. Let us see who is the one who built a wall. Who is the one who do ethnic cleansing? This is the Fatih Muhammad. He says, I swear by Allah, if I am victorious, because he wasn't sure, this is how much of a prophet he is. <laughs> he could not prophesy. He said, if I became victorious, I'm going to kick the, all the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. And this is what he did. He did not build a wall. He kicked them out. He killed anyone who still live there. So you run, run for your life. Don't worry about how it's pronounced, my friend. People understand my funny English, doesn't matter how I say it. I'm not here to teach English. You know the thing. 
But they claim that they are the one who is against racism and the Jews are the racist. They build the wall, brother. Do you see the wall? We op you open the wall for not even half day. Look what, look what you did. In case you do not know, by the way, there's a wall against those people in every Islamic country. Nobody wants to have them. Nobody. There's a wall around them in, in, in Lebanon. The Shia Hezbollah, Hezbollah and Harakat Amal, they need the Palestinian, so-called Palestinian, but those are Palestinian again, you know, but they are supposed to come from Palestine. They made them eat the flesh of each other for one year. They made a siege on the Palestinian, Hezbollah and Nabi Barri, Harakat Amal, both are Shia. They surrounded the Palestinians from everywhere in Beirut. And they made them, made, made them eat the dead bodies of each other. No food. One year. Nobody talk about it. Why your God did not stop them? My friend, who said that? Uh, first of all, <clears throat> uh, I mean, I, I find that Muslims are very silly and very stupid. I can say the same to you. Why your God did not stop them? <laughs> I never saw a smart Abdul. It's against the policy of Allah. But let me go with you. My God, he don't teach that he gave anything but a free will. This is the teaching of Christianity. But it's your God who teach that everything happened according to the will of Allah. So now if Gaza mashed potato become, it's the will of Allah. Don't blame the Jews. It is the will of Allah. Do you dare to say anything against that? That's what you Muslim believe. If a billion Muslim being killed in a war, it's the will of Allah. If you lose the war, it's the will. You lost Jerusalem, it is the will of Allah. Then you need to ask yourself, what kind of will the will of Allah to make you lose Jerusalem? For me, my God, he promised the Jews to have their land back and they have it. Oh, we can show you the verses from the Bible. What your God did. Hmm? What your God did. Your God could not even protect the black stone. There's nothing left. There's a bunch of little rocks. They connect them with gum. Women, yeah, women, lady, can you give me your gum? Because you want to fix the black stone. In the wall, there's no stone there. What happened to the black stone? So this stone will be witnessing for you in the day of judgment. This stone, whoever touch it, will like shake in the hand of Allah. Whoever kiss it, like kissing the hand of Allah, is going to intercede for you in the day. Of, and then there is no black stone; it's gone. Hmm. Would you like to answer me? Same time, when the Jews refused to kill every Palestinian, according to Muhammad, according to the Quran, Allah gets so upset from them and he forbid them from entering the land for 40 years. Look what the Jews, they said to Musa, according to Muhammad. Habib Musa, Quran says, we shall never enter it as long there are there. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? The Jews refused to enter. Yes, we will not enter there. You want to go for war? Go you and you Allah. Only two, two uh, Jewish, they came to Moses. Only two, two, there's only two. Just two people. They don't do jihad. Says Moses, let us go jihad, okay? Let us jump in the motorcycle, you know? Let us rape some women. Only two, Moses and two men only, from the whole nation of, of, of uh, Israel. And then, uh, because they refused to kill the Palestinian, Allah said to them, therefore, this holy land is forbidden to them for 40 years. Is that your Quran? He said only 14, 40 years, which means after that it's your land. Do you see it?
Do you see it? Hey, Abdul, do you see it? I know drinking camel urine will make you lose your vision. It's okay, it's okay. Say, inshallah, you will be able to see it. Yeah, and what you will say now, you will say this is Da'if uh, Quran? Abu uh, uh, Rashman, uh, Rashm okay, you want to you wanna call me, my friend? Okay, okay, I will open Skype for you, just for you. Because you sound like you are very excited. I don't want you to lose your spine. All right, I'm opening my Skype. Just text me. <clears throat> Tell me your name in Skype so I can call you. But text me first. <laughs> Yusuf, this is from last week. Where are you, Abdul? Text me, text me. Do you think Turkey will invade Greece next? Well, you know, if Greece is alone, Turkey can invade any time. But, Tur you know, the problem is Greece is part of European Union, and he knew, Erdogan, he knew he cannot do that. Same time, you know, uh, in a war with Greece is not the same as with Armenia. There's a different situation. This coward Erdogan, if he can, trust me, he will not hesitate for a second. But he will not dare. Do you dare see the Christians' brothers help us to take back our land? Do you dare to say, hey, this is what I say every day. <laughs> and we did. Don't you know that I joined the USA Army? Don't you know? Do you know or you don't? I'm not the person who speaks in YouTube, my friend. When it's time for war, I join to go to war. I joined the USA Army when nobody wants to join in the time where Al-Qaeda were cutting heads, everybody is afraid, I am then joined. Me, Christian Prince. I'm not a potato like you. I do it. I don't say it. All right? You are a potato. I am not. Will they free Cyprus? Why you want people to free your land? You see, the Jews now, they are the one freeing their land. It's nobody else. Why you want the whole world to fight for you and you don't want to fight for your land? And why even you allow them to take your land? You see, any nation in the world, they depend in other nations to protect them. They are stupid. Uh, I will give it to you as an example as a, as a household, not a nation. Do I depend on the police to protect me from the terrorists of Hamas? What if they come to me to kill me? I will be happy if they come. I have, I'm ready. By the time the police come here, if I depend on them, I will be dead. I will be shish kebab. So you don't defend your land. You don't deserve to have a land. As simple as that. It doesn't matter if you're a Christian or not a Christian. You have time, you and your wife, to go wear bikini to the beach, but you have no time to do training for war. You don't. If you believe that evil is exist, then you should be ready for evil. And it's not about a size. You know, David, when he, he when he destroyed a king, he was a kid. There's a little town in Syria. Many Christians, they knew what I'm talking about. ISIS, Al-Qaeda, surrounded from every direction. Little town. Not even 40,000 people. With all the mighty weapon of the American they have. With all the weapon they took from the Iraqi army. Mighty weapon. They could not enter one meter into that town. Why? Because those people are willing to die 
but not to let them get in. Suicide bombers, car bombing, you name it. They could not take it for one second. When people are willing to fight and they believe that either they live with dignity or they die, nobody can take your land. If you are a potato, you put your hand up. Secondly, I'm asking to ask, put your hand up. Don't kill me, don't kill me. No. Then you know, they will rape you. They will rape your wife and you deserve it. You are just a potato. Real men don't die. Real men don't die, even if you kill them. The dead one is the one who don't fight and defend his home. He's dead already. Even if he stay alive. What is the Abdul want to call me? I see nobody. Abdul, where are you? And you know, because the whole world is perfectly correct, so now you will see even the Christians, you know, I mean, they make me sick, those Christians, you know. We pray for the safety of civilian. What civilian? What civilian? They want the Israeli to go to Gaza, and they, hey, please, civilian, can you move a little bit? Because Hamas is just hiding behind you. Sorry, we cannot shoot them. And then Hamas, she should. I mean, those Christians, they are coming from different galaxies. Hey, please. Why you don't put a red dot in your head and you look those, those who worship uh, Krishna, whatever, and dance in the street like them and wear yellow uh, uh, bed sheet? Hippie, hippie. Those are false Christians. They do not know what the Bible says. They do not know what war means. They think that evil... If something can be washed by Clorox, you know, just put it in the laundry machine, just put some detergent, and you will be clean. What calling me, potato? You are not calling me. Let me be sure that you are uh, 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 getting the correct number. Hold on. This is my... Is that what you are calling? Text me, text me here. Let me be sure that this is the what my channel is showing. Yeah, this is the one it's showing. <clears throat> anyway, so now the war, the war. I'm not expecting much from this potato Netanyahu. He's a potato. He's no, he's not David. This war needs somebody who have the heart of David. This war need a real man. Even the army, the Israeli army, they have a very powerful men, brave men. But the leadership are politician, you know, politician. Politician, they are not those people they hide under the table for one bullet. Like Trump. Trump, he heard the fart, he wanna go and under the table. Same as Biden. So to lead a nation in the time of war, you should not have a civilian. You should not. You should have a person who know war, he live in war, he practice war, and he knew what war is. Not a person wearing a suit and shiny shoes, and he never hold a gun in his hand, and if he hold it, maybe he will shoot his wife by mistake. You need a real man who knows what is war. And he is willing to die for his nation. Not a person he is willing to win the election. Those people just want to win election. This is why I'm not expecting too much from Netanyahu. He is just a politician. In fact, this person, if he have a little dignity, should resign immediately. Because everything happened under his command. He is the chief of the army. How in the world do you give vacation to everybody? 
Where is the army? Where do you think you are living? Hawaii? Abdul, one more time, you say why you are not answering, I will block you. My Skype is open, anyone can call me except you, right? So one more time, you say, the play victims. Uh, this is how you will go. And why you are using my picture, you stupid son of Muta? Guys, this is Muslim Prince. He converted to Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> he have a cross in his chest. I was wondering who is this. I, I am calling. I'm texting myself. Like what? What? Abdul, you should put the picture of your prophet. Let me find it for you. Hold on. I will help you. I will help you. Hold on. Hold on. You put the picture. Don't 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 use my name on you. Abdul. Let me show you the picture of your prophet, brother. So you can use it in your profile and you can be proud about it. Where is the picture of your prophet? Hold on. You put the picture of your prophet. <laughs> you know, Muslims, they are the most, the most, the, the, the biggest bully nation in the world. Bully, bully. You know what the bully mean? Bully. Where is the picture of Muhammad? What happened to it? Wait, wait. Here we go. Yeah, we found it. We found it. So, if you want to put a picture, I advise you to put this beautiful picture of your prophet. And I will tell you why this is the most accurate picture of your prophet. According to Muslim, this is the image of Muhammad onkel. Now you tell me if this is the image of his onkel, how Muhammad looked like. Ninety percent will be the same. I mean, you stupid Muhammad, and you are really weird. So just because the uncle of even the uncle of Muhammad was looking at him, he didn't want to convert to Islam. Not only that, the the guy, his two sons, they were sleeping with the daughters of Muhammad. He said they want to convert to Islam. So the Muslim, because he, they are angry from the uncle of Muhammad, and look how they picture him. Look, look, look at this, you know. But but this is the uncle of Muhammad, brother. We are proud of it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let us let us call this Abdul. Let us call this Abdul just for fun. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Eh? Hang up. Why you hang up? What a potato. Let us call him again. If you don't answer the phone, I will block you. Answer, answer. Last warning. Ah, potato. Let me block you then. <clears throat> Uh, it says my internet <coughs> is not good. Uh, that's weird because my uh, 
My OBS says my internet is good. Mm hmm. It doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, all right. Is the picture coming good, guys? Nope. Is the image coming good? All right. As you see, the stupid Muhammad in his Quran confirmed that this is the land of Jews. Not only that, by the way, the Quran says clearly that this is the land, the land assigned to you. You know what assigned mean? That means there's no one else can have that land. This is the Muslim translation. For me, I do not need translation. As you know, Arabic is my first language. Ya qawm, udkhulu al-arda al-muqaddasa allati kataba Allahu lakum wa la tartaddu ala adbarikum fatanqalibu khasirin. O people, enter the holy land which Allah assigned to you. Abdul, even your God, Batito Muhammad, he said this is the land assigned to Jack Shalom. What you can do about it? Now, how the Muslim they can explain that? They say at that time, brother, at that time, those they were Muslims. <laughs> Abdul, why they are Muslims, but the Quran called them Jews? Like, what's wrong with you? So the Quran called them Jews, but they are Muslims. And the and the Christians at that time they were they were Muslim too. <laughs> And you will notice here that the only holy land is Jerusalem. The Kaaba is not holy land. Nowhere in the Quran it says the word holy. Al Muqaddasa, Muqaddas in Arabic, is holy. As an example, the Quran used the word Al uh, Ruhul Qudus, which is coming from the Holy Spirit. The Muslims, they stole the name from the Christian, do not know what does that mean. According to the Muslims, the Holy Spirit is an angel. His name is Jibreel. But according to the Quran, all angels are sinners. This is why Allah commanded them to bow down. This is why the Quran made by a stupid idiot. Uh, Sam Shamoon, he considered you, convinced you to, uh, to convert to Islam. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, guys. Uh, this person, he was convinced by Sam Shamoon to convert to Islam. Uh, okay, no, no, I will, I, you can text me if you want so we can laugh. But, uh, you know, my friend, first of all, if you convert to Islam, you have to drink camel urine. So you, you have to make a video and show me yourself drinking camel urine from the penis of the camel. Remember, it have to be a male camel, not a female. Haram. It have to be a male. Listen, listen. Sam Shamoon convinced me to consider Islam after I exposed him and the Sabbath. Do you want to debate? If you find me sincere, can you please consider not sending you Christians to him? What the heck? You expose him with the Sabbath? Abdul, what, what does that mean? Can you explain to me what the... Oh, text me, text me in Skype, call me. Text me in Skype, I want to take you for a snack. It's a dummy day. Anyway. Did he convince you to drink camel urine too? I hope not. I mean, people, they say stupid things, dummy things. But Sabbath, you eat it. So you, let me let me tell you, make it simple. So you wanna, so you are claiming that you are not a Muslim now, right? And you want to convert to Islam because of Sabbath? What about Sunday? You became a Hindu? Call me and debate me about Sunday, and then you will become a Hindu. And then call the Hindus and debate him about Monday, and you will become uh, uh, Ahmadiyya. And then call the Ahmadiyya and call them about Tuesday, and you will become... Uh, uh, <laughs> Don't get married. Your wife, she will leave you immediately. As the Chinese, they say, he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. What does this have to do with religion? We I mean, debate him about Sabbath and convince me Sabbath. Because uh, Sabbath, I become a, a Muslim now, it's uh, Sabbath, you know? But, uh, yeah. Don't say that to your wife. Don't. Trust me, don't. Hmm. What a bunch of donkeys. Abdul, 
change your name like call yourself Muhammad why you are coming yourself uh, Rick B so anyway uh, uh, today our program is to talk about the war in Israel right so my expectation for what will happen next I, I need to uh, to put something in the screen something pleasant for you so you guys can be happy until I find something else okay this is a prophet Muhammad picture for now temporarily and that will bring more uh, beautiful women to our show you know People start scratching their heads and they say well if Allah's written all of this then why did he bring me onto the earth well hang on you don't know your results of your examination so you have to come onto earth the fact that Allah knows it and the fact that Allah has written it does not make you a person who should now give up because if that was the case then obviously you would be the fool really guys if what fool if this is destiny anyway <laughs> what what give up can I even can I, I even give up if this religion believe in destiny can I even I give up my destiny <laughs> It's going to happen anyway. Donkeys, donkeys. This is a religion. Only a donkey can believe in it. Like, look, look, look what will happen now. I will give you a story about why Hamas are going to be become shish kebab. And I will explain to you from the example or the story, which is a real story supposedly, Mufti Mink will tell us. Listen carefully. A man came at the time of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu. According to one of the uh, narrations, uh, he had... He needed to be punished because he stole. So he comes to Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu and he uses the same line. He says, Oh Umar, oh Amirul Mu'mineen, how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined? My deeds were already written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. Umar so Hamas, this is a pretty good argument if you want to look at it. So now if you say to the Jews, why you want to kill me if what I did because of the will of Allah? What the Jews will say to you? Listen carefully. The second part of it, this is Jack Shalom is answering you. Hey, Jews, tell him what you will say to them. Ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu was one ahead of this man. He says, See, the Jews is one ahead. So the Muslim, he says, why you want to punish me if this is the destiny from Allah? What I did, it was a destiny. So the Jewish now, he answer, hmm? I'm not just replacing Umar by, the, by a Jew. So he was one ahead to Hamas. So what Jack Shalom will say to Hamas? Is, well, let's punish this man because it was predestined that we were going to punish him. Allahu Akbar. It's a predestined, brother. It's a predestined. You see, this is what you, this is what you must not believe. Anything will happen. It's a predestined. So now if the Jews come to you and make you hummus, don't blame the Jews. It's a predestiny. The same way you don't blame yourself for going there, it was a predestiny. Now they will punish you, it's a predestiny. So what we will have in the coming two weeks is a predestiny party. So don't cry. You know, you know, stop the invasion of the Jews and they are committing genocide. Potatoes. And Muslims in YouTube, if you are a brave, really, if you are a believer, don't you wish to meet the versions of Allah? Let us be honest here. Why you don't want to join and do jihad? Isn't it the dream of every Muslim? You don't believe in Allah, you believe in the versions. If Allah take the version, none of you want to die. This is the truth. You are desperate to go to boom boom we don't believe in this god <laughs> actually the reason allah supposedly he made this promise for you because he knew what you are looking for he knew you're not a believer he knew that you are just horny horny thorny and you know i find it very amazing how muhammad described the women in heaven look at this picture this is how women in heaven they would look like so hamas now Every one of them will be killed by Israel. He will have one of those. And look, her legs is up already. Subhanallah. So, takbir Allahu Akbar. Takbir Allahu Akbar. Takbir Allahu Akbar. Brother, the Prophet Muhammad, he says, we will see the marrow of the bones of the women in heaven. You Muslims have sex with bones, don't you? 
not only with babies and with goats and with cow and with donkey, even with bones. She is a bony. Look at this. Don't say this is not, doesn't say that CPA. This is what your prophet says. He swear by Allah that each one of them you can see, they are she is so white to the point you can see the marrow of her bones. So imagine if you are a member of Hamas, you go to heaven, look at this. Look at this possession. Abdul, all Muslims who they are supporting Hamas, this is what is waiting for you if you are a true believer. Don't hesitate to join the army of Allah. Don't you want to get the bones? I mean, if you are a German shepherd, that is a good deal for you. This is religion. This is the religion, huh? And this is your God of promise. You know, when, when, uh, uh, when Muhammad started describing the versions, I was saying to myself, this guy, I don't know what kind of hashish he was taking. What kind of hash hash? I mean, at that time, they don't have those crazy things which will destroy your brain right away when you take them. But Muhammad, obviously, have no brain. What kind of a promise this promise is? I mean, he didn't say women, they are beautiful, sexy. No, no, look at this. I mean, this will make you vomit. So now you have a female in front of you. You see the shit inside her belly. She ate your hamburger, excuse me. She ate your hamburger, you see the hamburger. You know, and this is the end of, uh, 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 like, uh, let us say, the, the old fashioned, you know, how men, they see women. You know, they see them different, like nice legs, nice face. No, 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 those, all this is over. Muhammad Jihad is different story. The guy saying to me, call this number. My friend just text me, text me. You want me to look for you? Okay, we have somebody. Hold on. Abdul Rashman. <coughs> answer, answer, Abdul. I'm calling you. Are you going to answer or not? Okay, I will give you one more time. If you don't answer, I will block you. Don't call me. You cannot call me. I have to call you first. Who is this? The, the kid from uh, uh, Senegal? No, this is your nightmare, your nightmare. The guy from Senegal, right? The guy who think that uh, Allah, he grow the penis for shaitan after he become not an angel, he became a shaitan. Isn't it you? This, this is your nightmare. Yeah, your yeah, nightmare. but you, you, you are the one who told me that your God, Allah, he made the shaitan have a penis after. Is it correct? I didn't say that. You said that. You forgot? I didn't say that. Let us go to the bus. No, you said that. You said that. I said to you, but is angels is angels made on female? Okay, hold on. Is do are they the angels made on female? No. Quran okay, says no. but I said to you, will the Quran says that Shaitan have a children and Shaitan they are men? So you said to me, as long there is men, that means there is women. You said that, as long there is men, you said men mean male, correct? I what I said, male. Yeah. Male. Yes, that is what. I said male. That's what I said. No, you said it's recorded. You said as long there is men, then there is there is there is females. Let us go to the bus. It's recorded. Let it's recorded. It's recorded. <laughs> Abdul. Okay, let me repeat again. So, shaitan is a male or a female? Shaitan. Uh huh. I said let us go. To Don't bus. tell me let us go. Bus. Give me the answer. Is Shaitan made on female? I deal with the Quran. No, 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 no. Abdul, Abdul, Senegal boy, listen, listen, listen. I have no time for kids. So give me the answer because I don't want to go. Like, why you want to go? Why, why you want to make the story long? Just give me the answer. Is Shaitan male or female? I said the answer. Don't tell me I said. Tell me the answer. Is he male or female? 
I said I don't know till we go to the Quran. I don't know. Then why you are calling me, Mr. I don't know? I want somebody to know. Let your dad call me, okay? Or your mom. Is that all right? Don't run, don't run. Wait, so then, then give me the answer. So after two weeks studying the question I gave you, which you gave me the answer for it already. Now you are denying, saying I do not know. Okay, I will repeat the question. Okay, I will give you 15 minutes. Search in the internet. Call your mom, you know, because your mom, she slept with the devil to have you. Obviously, according to your prophet, hey, by the way, your prophet was a Muslim by birth. So Your, what, what your prophet was a Muslim by birth? No. The Quran does not say that Allah says okay. that he found him, he guided. What, what, what? He was unguided and Allah guided him. He was unguided? What does that mean? He, was lost. he found him lost. Then Allah guided him. What do you mean he was lost? He was joined Hamas? Meaning he uh -huh. was one or one time he was not worshipping God. Then God guided So what him. he was worshipping then? The, what? He does not worship God. Okay, what he, was worship, what he was worshipping? He was a communist? Worshiping anything. Worshiping anything? Is that the God of uh, Biden? Anything? You know the thing? Listen, give me the answer. So you said he don't worship God, the true God, correct? Okay. So uh, this is what, what age was Muhammad, you know? What age? Before, listen, the Quran says he was lost before Allah guided him. Okay, okay. So I, I will go I will go with you, Abdul. I will go with you. You are, you are the smartest between the girls you know, in your family. So listen, so now your prophet, he became prophet at what age? At the age of 40. 40? For sure. Um, I, I, everything I ask you, you say, I, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm asking you, what was the age? I did not say to you the number. I said to you, what age your prophet became a prophet? I said at the age of 40. At the age of 40. But you don't you say, keep saying to me, you follow Quran only, but this is in the Hadith. It is in the Quran. The Quran the Quran. Just, just don't call me again, son of Mata. You stink. You are like diarrhea. I feel like Quran only. You know? Then suddenly, okay, what uh, what was the age of... This is in the Hadith, you donkey. Where in the Quran it says Muhammad was 40? So 40 years the donkey Muhammad was worshipping wrong God. What is his name? Monica Lewinsky? 40 years. 40 years. I don't know if there's anyone here from the Philippines. In the Philippines, you go in the bus, the guy, you ask him, uh, he say, sir, I have to pay you back 44 pesos. So 40 years, Muhammad worshipping the wrong God, and this guy claimed that he followed Quran only, and then we ask him, what was the age of your prophet when he became a prophet? He gave me the answer, 40, but this is in the hadith only. Potato. Don't call me again. I have no time for people. Let me focus on those girls. I want to relax now because I was shouting. Look how beautiful she is. I mean, look at those. Man, look at those shoes. I'm single. I cannot, I cannot look at this. This is too much. This is too much for me. Sorry. I mean, your stupid prophet is the most idiot ever. This is women who promise Hamas in the heaven to have. If this is what we will have in the heaven, what we will have in hell, man. <laughs> Hold on, let me show you what you will have in hell. <laughs> Women in hell, actually, they look so good, according to Muhammad. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh. Let us see. Question, brother. Question, question. What will happen to the one of Hamas when he get killed? Let us see, brother. Ah, I'm typing in English again. Ah, where is the hadith? Don't tell me you took it, Muslims.
Let us find another hadith. I want to show you first what the Jews will get in heaven. <laughs> Guys, do you want to do you want to see what the Jews will get in heaven? Just wait, just wait. <clears throat> Moshe, Prophet Moshe, peace be upon him, he asked Allah. He said, Allah, Allah. What is the lowest reward for a Jewish guy from those who follow me? <laughs> I mean, this man, Muhammad, he fabric. Muslims, oh, uh, Muhammad was there when this story happened. I mean, is that the narration narration of Prophet Muhammad? He was witnessing this. Where do you get this story from? So look. Musa, he wanna ask because Musa is a Jew. He wanna know how much money, how much money, hmm? what we will get in heaven. So look what Allah promised Musa. He did not promise him women. He promised the Jews money, money. Read carefully. So Musa asked Allah, who amongst the inhabitant of paradise is the lowest to rank? The lowest, the lowest. So Allah said, a person, which means from the Jews, who would admit it to paradise, last among those deserving the paradise. This is the baddest Jew admitting to it. I would say to him, enter paradise. He would say, Jack Shalom will answer, Oh Allah, Habibi, how I should enter when everybody's there, Habibi? While the people have a seated in their chairs, Habibi. Then I say to him, would you be pleased if there be for you like the kingdom of a king amongst the king of the world? If, 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 this is the lowest. Negotiation, negotiation. This is the last Jew. The last Jew. This is the worst Jew. <laughs> And the Jew is asking Allah, says, Hey, Habibi, Allah, so I go in Allah, but uh, all the chairs is full in the movie. Where I will go? The heaven is full. So Allah says to the Jew, Listen, listen, would you be pleased if I make you have equal money like a king of the king of the earth? The Jewish guy, he said, Oh, really? Are you serious? He would say, I'm pleased, my Lord, I'm pleased. Thank you, thank you. Allah will say, Hmm. For you that and like that and like that and like that and then in the fifth like five time and like that and like that and then the guy at the fifth the guy says well let's stop 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 this is too much money too much money i cannot take it Habibi, stop this is too much money abdul is that a heaven or supermarket or a stock market so this god he is speaking to the jews the she the arab he speak to them about vagina. Allah promised the women, the, 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 the Muslim in heaven, vagina. Those Jews don't care for the vagina, they want money. <laughs> this is what, what the <laughs> And this Jew, he gets so excited. Stop, stop, Allah, stop. This is too much. I don't have more. The bank will not, cannot hold all of this. When I'm going to put the money, Allah, please stop what I'm... Abdul, if this is paradise, what what king? What Abdul? This is this is paradise supposedly. What money for? What king? What are you talking about? And if this is the lowest in the heavens, so uh, what is that, man? If everybody everybody rich, that means everybody is poor. Well, what does that mean? If everybody is his belly is full, then everybody, if everybody do not need shelter, everybody do not need money, everybody do not need food, everybody, because there's everything. So what rich mean? What does exactly mean? What 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 does exactly mean? Ten times more rich than the king. What that will do? Will buy extra cars? This is how stupid this religion is. Send uh, the reference. 
What reference? There is no reference here. This is Sahih Muslim. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what a stupid, this is a religion of God. So the Jews will be richer than any king in the earth and you Muslim, you will have just sex and boom, boom. Zakarun la yanhani, la yanthani. Muhammad, he promised the Muslim Hamas. That none of you, your penis, will go limp. Can you believe it? Ah, actually now I remember what we were talking about. We talk about which women are more pretty in according to Islam, women in, of hell or women in heaven. Anyone remember what I said? I said women in heaven is ugly in Islam, women in hell is more pretty. How we can prove it? Read with me. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. <clears throat> Allah, He will import from hell. From where? From hell. The pretty women to the heaven of Islam. Because obviously all Muslim women don't look good. Otherwise, you tell me why Allah importing women and what is the description of those women? Look at this. Look at this, brother. Let us read together the description. Hmm. It says here, and 70 from his inheritance from the people of hell, all of whom have desirable wrong passages. What the heck is that? I hate to talk about politics. Desirable world. Wrong basses is. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm going to make the image close to you. Because uh, YouTube cannot, will not allow us to explain too much. But I will get the image close to your head. What is the front passages of women? We start here. What is this? Still, you did not get it. Okay. What about this now? What is this? Okay, okay. Dirty minded. Dirty minded. This is not boobs. No. Those uh, two falafel sandwiches. <laughs> so, Allah will, uh, will send him his inheritance from hell, women who have a front desirable passages, and what else? I'm not going to draw the vagina, sorry, you know? But this is the front uh, desirable passages. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? He will import from where? From hell. Women who have a desirable front passages. What does that mean? Her nose? Abdul, what is what the heck is that? And why is importing him from there? I mean, isn't it those women deserve to be in hell anyway? No, those are hookers, supposedly, and they should be in hell, but they are expert in sex and so good. They work for Andre Tits. You know Andre Tits? Peace be upon him. So those who work for Andre Tits, the Muslim girls, Allah will import them because they have nice boots, boing, 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 and they have a beautiful vagina. Like, what, what, what? Allah, he said to the Muslim, Abdul, okay, don't be upset. Muslim women in heaven, they look at disgusting. Okay, because I forbid them to shave hair from their face. Every woman of them, she have mustache. I mean, have you ever heard of religion? This God will curse a woman if she take hair from her face. And he command the man to shave his mustache. What's wrong with you? So listen carefully. Allah will go to heaven and he will make all those women naked. He says, you here. Yeah, yeah, you know the women. Look at you, look at you, look at you. I mean, look. No, no, not, not you. You're not qualified. Do you have a desirable front passages? Hey, Abdul, he mentioned the desirable front passages. What about the back? I mean, you might have a problem there. 
what if her back is like hairy what if her ass have like uh, you know things up things down you know some fat there fat here i mean it, only the front what, what, you will have sex with them only they are they are oh, they turn their back to the hole ah, okay okay that make up my make sense this is a this is a prophet of god and this is what hamas they want to die for he's importing for them hookers from hell and look at the promise of the prophet of god this is how you know that muhammad and hamas they really following true true prophet look let me zoom for you this is very important because what the point is to give them promise of a lot of women but their member is make weak you know look and they will have a male member that will never become flaccid i.e soft and limp by the way muslims a translation i mean the translation trying to cover it you don't know how to say the word the uh, d huh it's the d you know it's the, the, the it is the d show <laughs> imagine this is a prophet of god telling his followers at his time listen abdul do you see your penis Abdul, look down, Hamas, look down. Yes, yes, Prophet, yes. The penis will never go limp, okay? Okay, well, Prophet, I was worried about all those women. How I'm going to do boom, boom to them? No, 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 no. <laughs> the penis will never go limp. Allah told me, Allah told me. Terelem, 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 terelem. Hmm. Uh, we, have a, we have a Muslim in the chat, and he is, uh, he want to send fire to our house. Abdul. You send fire to your house, and if you are a man, come to my house, potato. All of you Muslims in YouTube, you are a potato. If you are a truly, a truly, truly a believer, you want to meet Allah, come to my house. Or at least come to the Israeli army, they are waiting for you. Cowards. Potato. Potato tomato. Do you remember Saddam Hussein? Saddam Hussein was calling the American cows, the American cows. 48 hours later, Saddam Hussein become a rat in a hole. To your mother too and hid in her grave? A Muslim, he cannot make any insult without talking about the mother. Abdul, do you want me to talk about your mother? Okay, let me talk about your mother. And I change to call me and talk about mothers. Is it true that if your father divorced your mother three times, she have to F and you Hamas so she can come back to the previous Hamas? And this is why Hamas called Hamas, which means exciting? Is it true that a woman from Hamas, if her husband Hamas divorced her, she have to F another Hamas boy so she can come back to the previous Hamas? I challenge you to say I'm lying. Same time, Abdul. Why you don't call me and prove to us that your male member is not limp? All of you, your male member is limp. Because if you are man, you don't attack women and children. You go attack an army and army fighting you. Men fighting men. Armed people fight armed people, not only men. I mean, you see, even in the time of savagery, if a man is not armed, they don't they don't kill him. They say, give him a sword, give him a give him something to fight. Even the outlaw in America, when in the time of the cowboy, even a criminal, you say, okay, give him a give him a gun. You cowards, you go and attack people unarmed, totally unarmed. And this is what your prophet did with the people of Bani al Mustalak. They are unarmed. They never attack Muhammad. And the filthy Muhammad, he went after them just to steal their women, to rape their women, and to take their animals, which is money. Prove me wrong. Let me show you. Whatever is in your house, Abdul, Abdul, stop talking about my house, because this is where your mom lives.
Shame on you. Abdul, why you do that? If you are a man, just come to my house. Don't talk about it. Now, listen, listen. Uh, look what Muhammad did. And this is why you understand how you understand why they are trashy. They are following the biggest scam back in the world. This is what Muhammad did to them. They were unaware. They never fought him. They never did anything to him. Filthy idiot. And here they are talking about raping those women. It's in the front of you. Those people, they were living peacefully with their neighbors. Muhammad, he attacked them and they were headless just for the purpose of enslaving the humans and stealing their animals and raping the women. It's in the front of you. No, he's not like Hamas. He is a coward. At, at least Hamas, they carry a gun and go to fight. Those potatoes don't dare even to do so. They are Mujahideen in chat. They are Mujahideen in chat. You know, for me, when I say I'm going to join the army, I join the army to defend the, the country I, I love and I, I support. I'm not a person who speak in YouTube, says, be a man, be a hero. I, I, I went to the army to go to war. Those are potatoes. If they are truly believers, they will join Hamas. All those in YouTube who claim to be uh, Muslim supporting Allah, they are potatoes. None of them will dare to make a really threat even. Just even by words, by talk, they don't dare. Even talking, they don't dare. So they will not go and carry jihad. They will not fight. They're open YouTube and it's monetized by the kuffar so they can make money. 